Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to the Scoop with EJO. My name is Lucy, and today's all about John Wick Chapter 4. It came out March 24th, and I cannot wait to talk to you guys about this because this movie was amazing. If you are a fan of the franchise, this movie is for you. But if you have not watched the movie already, don't worry. There's not going to be any spoilers in this talk at all. Just my review, how about this movie, and why you should watch it. The action sequence are, are out of your mind. I was watching this in theaters and being like, oh my gosh. Like, John Wick is the MPV of the MPV because he could literally be fighting somebody and then camera shot to the next view and camera shot to the next view. There is beautiful scene of action sequence of an uh, overhead of the action sequence. I think that was the best of the best in the whole entire movie. I was blown away at the filmmaking, the stunt doubles. They did the they put in the work in this movie. Out of the four movies, John Wick Chapter Four. Is one of my personal favorites. It's in the top three of John Wick's. Um, I am in love with it. You should go watch it because that, all the action sequences just get better and better in this movie. And I, Keanu Reeves, let's talk about him for a second because him as John Wick. Now, let me just tell you, he as the MPV because, first of all, the man is in his old age, but he did 90% of his stunts in this movie, which I am blown away. But also, it just shows how great of an actor he is, and the fact that he does his own stunts is crazy to me, because, let me tell you, this movie, he was going through a lot in this movie. Let's talk about our villain for the movie for a second. We have a couple villains, but the main villain is played by Bill Skargard, and he is played uh, playing Marquise. Now, Marquise is an okay villain. I wouldn't say I've liked him as the other villains in the, the John Wick franchise, but... He's okay. I think that his character is kind of helps develop the plot a little bit. Uh, he didn't really bring anything to the table. I was expecting something more from him in the movie, but we didn't just didn't get what I thought we were gonna get. The costume design that they spent in that movie, it went all to him because his 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 suits. Every time he walked on screen, styling, fashion sense on point. He just is better than I do, and I don't dress that bad. Don't know who Bill is. He is uh, Pennywise from It, Chapter One and Two, and that movie scared the living crap out of me when I was a child. So don't let your kid watch that movie because it's creepy. But he did an amazing job in that role, and I really thought that he was in this movie. I wish we saw a bit more of him, a little bit more action scenes with him, a little bit more like dialogue from him. It's a little bit more fleshed out character than he was in the movie, but all in all, he did an amazing job playing the villain of the movie. We get to see some of our favorite characters like Winston, who's played by Ian McShawn, Barry King, who was played by Lawrence Fishburne. Those characters shine in their own way in this movie, uh, Winston more than ever. We got introduced to some new characters like Akira, who's played by Rena S. I cannot say her last name, so we're gonna say Rena S. Um, she is the daughter of one of the characters in this movie, and she is pretty cool, to say the least. And I always like to see women fighting, so gives a girl boss. A character we've seen before in John Wick 1, Kane, who was played with Donnie Yang. Um, he is so funny in this movie, but also he plays a blind man, but he also brings the comedy where it's needed, but also his fight sequences is so good that it's like, I I love him. I've not watched the first movie of John Wick. He was in that movie, at John Wick's uh, kind of closest friends. He doesn't have any friends, but you could say he was kind of a brother to him. Um, but now they're kind of enemies now in this movie because of course John Wick's on the other side of the high table and they're trying to kill, all of them trying to kill John Wick. Uh, somebody named Mr. Nobody. I'm not, I'm not gonna mention too much in this video, but Mr. Nobody's in this movie. He's a tracker, trying to track down John Wick to bring him down and get the money he deserves. Him and his dog, and every scene he, they were in, his dog, by the way, <laughs> oh, his dog's crazy. <laughs> I'm really glad that they were in this movie. We're gonna see a little bit more of them, and hopefully, we can see more of them. If you have some already, please comment below your thoughts if you enjoyed the movie, which is your part of the movie, who's your favorite character. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. And if you haven't already, check out my latest post about John Wick Chapter 4 on my, web on my website. That would be linked down below, and all, all my social media will be linked down below too. Y'all have a good day and peace out. I'm gonna go to bed. Bye.